we're at the ranch today. Sun Dog. Yeah. Here. Sunny makes uh, insane motocross tracks. What we're doing today is, uh, you guys remember the Dell Junior Go-Kart find that, that we got. Everything's all prepped, ready to race. Our first race coming up is uh, the Cow Patty 700. We don't know where we're racing. And that's because we don't have a track. And so what Sonny is here to do is Sonny is here to build us a gnarly track. Uh, we're thinking about this area. We kind of scoped it out earlier. We're in NASCAR country, so everything's go fast, turn left, but I thought maybe we'd go fast, turn left, turn right, then left. And I like that. Yeah. And then the other thing is, is it's not, it's not perfectly level. So he was thinking of making some of the corners, you know, uh, on angles that way, you know, the cars kind of get sketchy and things like that. Uh, but we're gonna figure it out right now. My buddy Aaron, uh, he brought his dozer. So they're gonna kind of work together. Sonny is gonna be the whole lead on this because he's so used to uh, building tracks and stuff. We haul, we haul. <laughs> Basically, we're just gonna do an oval track right here. We're gonna right. use some of this hillside and just yeah. cut, go like out of this exit of this corner and go up kind of at an angle. And come straight down the tree line? Straight then? down the tree line, yeah. yeah. So this place has already started to take shape like fast. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the track layout real quick. Sonny's building a spot right in the middle of the track. That way if anyone wants to stand up there to watch or uh, film, uh, you know, as we race or anything like that. I'm sure I'm gonna have people asking, you know, how long is the track? Honestly, we're kind of just going off eye and feel. We didn't like put a tape measure to it or anything. I, uh, I just, Sonny's such an expert with all this. I kind of just let him run with it. But you could tell, I mean, this is like really good clay right here. Like really good. This clay is gonna hard pack so hard. I know. You could probably rip a go-kart track or a go-kart on it right now. I know. Like, do you think we need to add to it or do you think we're gonna be all right? Dude, I think we're gonna be all right. I think, uh, I think if we just find the lowest points on the straightaway and then just cut through down to where those trees go down, all the water would just run right out. You think? Yeah. Being off camber, it's gonna make everyone like drift to the bottom right here. Mm -hmm. I like it. This isn't your typical track. No, it's different. That's what's fun. We don't want to do the same oval track as everyone else. So I'm gonna show my dad the uh, the track for the first time. Oh, look at that! Oh, nice. We still got a little bit to do. Oh, I see you guys push stuff down there. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> See how it's uh, kind of, you know, off camber and stuff? Oh, I love the. That'll be the viewing. Oh, man. You know how fun those things are going to be on this? It's perfect size, huh? This is going to be good. I was thinking uh, what we could do is uh, I'll scrape it a bunch more with the tractor and maybe we'll get like some a little water on it maybe and then drive around like maybe we'll take the Crown Vic and kind of drive around it and pack it and then we'll do like a first little test test drive on the go-kart that's kind of what I was yeah. thinking and then we gotta we gotta just get this sucker flat like flat flat I'll that's why I, my, my dad's better on the tractor that's why I got it close and I was thinking that Maybe me and you can do a little work on it here in a little bit. At this point, I think we're ready to test a go-kart once all that is done. I mean, what, we're three hours? Yeah, how do you feel about it? I feel good, dude. We put a tabletop in the middle so the go-karts can jump as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, I like it because it's different. It's got the elevation change in the corner. Might work, might not work. You don't know unless we'll you try. Out. So, like to be different and do something different. We might do like some type of mock rate, like, like mock-up race or something before like the actual event yeah guys night race yeah first, and then do and then, something and then the cow shit 700 yeah i mean cow <laughs> what was it cow patty cow, cow patty. patty cow shit 700. so you said run 50 pounds <laughs> i'm afraid i'm gonna blow the tire up look how rounded that tire is so what, what we're figuring out is uh 
But like as time goes, we're gonna figure out the air pressures and things. I'm about to go test right now for the first time on the track. Um, by the way, we got the body all remounted. We got new bolts in it. It's, it's a lot more solid. But uh, we're just we, we got to figure out like what air pressures and things like that for our track. Um, we want these things to be super loose and like sliding when everyone's racing, so we don't want them gripped up. Uh, but we're gonna go out there and, and just do a test. But th this is where like we need to figure out exactly what they're gonna be when we actually race. The other thing we have going against us right now is the track is super dry, and uh, we need to wet it. So that's that's our next thing is we got to figure out is how to get water down there or how to water the track. So when we go down there, it's gonna be dusty. Um, it's not gonna be like that when we race. We want it like to be an actual clay style track. But I do wanna do a test with you guys and just try out the cart for the first time and just uh, go down there and have a good time. So we're gonna, we're gonna take uh, the 47 down there and uh, we're gonna run it and have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a little bit of a bumpy ride. Oh, we definitely need to make a smoother road. This is horrible. We got the kid coming out for the first time on the old dirt track, and this thing is looking good. Not bad, actually. This looks like fun. When this thing's wet, it's gonna be crazy. I think we need to widen it. So, 100% we need to make this way wider. Oh gosh. Way wider. You're coming around the corner, you're taking up the whole track. <laughs> we gotta make this so two or three could go around that corner. How was that? Was that bumpy? I'm beating to death right now. Was it bumpy? Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you see me launching? <laughs> we definitely have to make Holy it smoother. Holy cow, you are filthy. So at this point, as he's coming around the corner, he's taking up the whole track. So we need to make it so we could go two, three wide minimum. Right now it's kind of like a one lane course, I think. It is. That's all right. Hey. Well, this, 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 I mean, it's it's fun driving. It feels like you're like in a little car with the body. Like I instantly, when, when I first took off, I instantly was faster because I, I think Dale drove this one. I think it's safe to say that one, we need water, and two, the track needs to be much, much wider. Like a lot wider. I mean, it's right now, it's, it's kind of, it's, I think the size is okay, like the overall size, but the width of the track needs to be way, way wider, I think. Yeah, because if, if you're coming around and there's four cars wide, three cars wide, there's not even enough room. Because when he's sideways, I mean, when you're sideways on that track, I mean, pretty much it's half the width. What the heck? Man, I'm Your dirty. Your teeth are brown. <laughs> they are? <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, all I know is this was like the, I mean, we needed to test. We, I needed to take the car out here. First, the car handle's incredible. With the body on, it feels like you're like, in some little race car, but uh, we needed to do a full test out here. I like the track layout, but I, I agree with my dad. I think we need to make it wider. That way we could, you know, do a lot more passing. Um, so we're just gonna, we're gonna figure out sprinklers. We're gonna uh, mess with the track a little more, maybe trim out the inside of this. I think that about does it. I, uh, I think I need to go take some allergy medicine.
after, after this. It's dusty. And when that when we hit little, you know, bumps and stuff, that dust just goes right under the cart, right in your face. We need to do some work. Before before the big race, we, we got a lot of work to do. So um, I'm gonna end the episode here only because I got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna go work on the track and show you guys what it looks like, um, you know, on the next episode. But all I know is, is man, how cool. One, we're, you know, the, the history we're driving, like, I don't know, you know, who drove that exact car that I drove today, but uh, just the fact that we're, we're driving these these carts and into the history behind them is pretty awesome. But uh, we're gonna go put in some work. Uh, I got, you know, still a lot to do the cars, make sure they're all reliable. We gotta do a, a test race, make sure all these are gonna hold up for the race. We got a lot to do, but thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day. And, uh, you know, if you guys like this go-kart content, just let me know. I think it's going to be kind of like a, a part of our, um, you know, weekly episode. I think I'm going to try, if I can, to throw in two episodes a week. Right now I'm just doing one. And, uh, and we're just going to have fun. Have a blessed day.